Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. This is the Ramble. Yes, it's that little time we get together each and every night and we talk with our citizens panel, which we'll do in about 25 minutes from right now. But as we do once a week, we like to check out an old friend of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how to introduce him other than to say, if you're an unhappy person today, if life is not treating you well, the positive outlook of Larry <laughs> Bubbles Brown will certainly make your day or make you take the gun to your mouth again. Anyway, hello, Bubbles. How are you? <laughs> the master of disaster. <laughs> master of disaster. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, you gave me a line uh, last time that absolutely killed on stage at the Throckmorton. What, uh, what was it? You said, <laughs> you said I was changing my name from Bubbles to El Fomo. So I tried that. Got a huge laugh. <laughs> El Fomo? Did I say that? That was you, yeah. El Fomo. <laughs> Got a huge laugh. Well, good. I don't yeah, remember I mean, saying it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. You know, I never was a comedian. I never did a, did stand up, uh, mainly because it it, it 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 frightened the crap out of me to think of doing stand up. I mean, it just you know, I I don't understand how you've gone your whole life uh, doing this thing, which if you have no self esteem certainly robs you of that self-esteem even more. Yeah, when it, when it doesn't go well. Yeah, you know, so I, I never became a comic, but so I did radio show every day, and I would say some funny stuff. I, could, I was capable of being funny. I listened to old tapes of myself, and I was very, very oh, yeah. good. And, but I have probably created more material than any stand-up comic in my lifetime just improvising every day as I would talk and do stuff like that, you know. Uh, yeah, and I think that's when the best stuff comes out when you're just talking and it's natural. And it's but if I sat, sat there and said, "Oh, this was a good line, and that's a good line, and this is a good line," and then I put them all together in an act, I would probably suck. You know, because I was doing it for the outlet that I was doing it on, which was radio, entirely different form of show business, as it were. So, how have you been, Bubs? Good. I just been uh, what I've had nothing exciting. I was supposed to go back to Ohio, but I don't know if I can see some old friends or not. Just, yeah. What would you do? We're talking about what a pain it is to travel anymore. Just going through the airport with the taking the shoes off and all that crap. I just can't stand it. Yeah. Well, I, I you know, my wife uh, went to China and uh, uh, she. Oh my God! Really? Yeah. Well, she goes there once a year. And I've taken that trip. You know, like it's funny. You, hours? you hear about like 15 hours on a plane. And you go, God. how do I do huh? that? You know, well, the pilot's doing it. You know, uh, how do you do it? And uh, I found that that 15 hours flew by. Um, so to speak, a little pun there, flew by. Uh, I just, it didn't, it went by rather fast. Uh, Did you go, uh, what, uh, were you first class? Or? No, no, I was coaching uh, on China Air, I think it was. So it was crammed in? No, no, it was it was fairly decently spacious. You know, not, you weren't, didn't feel like, uh, you know, you couldn't move your legs, things like that. Uh, but what I found was, is I took like a Xanax and put myself to sleep. So I slept about six hours, seven hours. And uh, before you go to sleep, they say, we're going to be feeding you. So you're waiting for your meal. And I'm watching movies on my iPhone and things like that. And one thing or another, next thing I know, I'm in China. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. See, I, Rob Schneider wanted to take me to Australia, but I, I couldn't stand a flight that long. Uh, yeah, you probably, you know, it's a lot faster than you think because they know you're on that plane for 12 hours, okay, and that you need to be entertained somehow. 
So, you know, you got movies and you got, you know, like I bring an iPad and I stuff it up full of, of movies to watch. Um, you know, and I, I do that for girlfriend. She has this little thing that she bought called SanDisk. And uh, it, it, it takes, I can't remember how many movies we put on there. But I put a lot of movies on there for her. And then she goes on the plane and she turns it on. And it, uh, it automatically comes up uh, as a Wi-Fi channel on her iPad. And then she just simply picks that, and then she can watch all the movies she wants to with it. So, yeah. Well, that would help, but that's still a long time to be cramped up. Ugh. Yeah, well, she gets the extra, the extra, uh, the extra uh, uh, what do you call it, comfortable seat. In other words, in, even in coach, you can pay a little extra for uh like she's forced to travel coach by her company okay because she's not a big enough executive to do it the other way right so that that's for starters so she then <clears throat> orders up a, a seat which is called extra comfy or something it's got more leg room <clears throat> better service everything so well, you know, they take, uh, talking about the pilot, they, they take two flight crews in those flights. So. I would imagine. Yeah. I mean, what, uh, you want the same pilot flying your plane for 15, 15 hours? hours. <laughs> By the time he gets there, he's really woozy. You know. <laughs> well, I, they don't fly those planes anyway. Pretty much. They're yeah, just there in the cockpit to make you feel good. Right. Because if you heard there wasn't anybody in the cockpit, you'd go... Oh, boy, you know, but they don't need anybody in the cockpit because the, the things fly themselves automatically, and they land automatically now, too. Yeah, although the pilots usually do hands-on on the land. No, I don't, I don't think as much as you think, you know. Um, it's robots running the plane, bubs. <laughs> How's your fear of technology now? Let's get you on. <laughs> Two things you hate most in the world. Automation <laughs> yeah. and airplanes. Do you want windows flying your... <laughs> now you, but you fly, don't you? I do fly, yeah. I thought you didn't like flying. I thought you... I've I mean, gotten... I don't... Uh, the fear of flying is pretty much over. I don't like... It's just getting through security and being on... The planes are so crowded now. I don't like that. So. Yeah, it's, it's not... It's not... It used to be... Okay, when I first went on airlines it was like fancy schmancy time oh yeah it used to be great you people would dress up to fly people dressed up they yeah were, guys would suits. get into suits to fly uh-huh and you go well, why would they do that well because it was it was considered a luxury it was considered fancy to fly and so you you would do i sound old folks uh, you would get on a plane. Uh, you'd be all dressed up. You couldn't. You didn't wear jeans or whatever. And uh, then the, they would start serving you food, and the food was delicious. It was wonderful. Uh, they didn't have movies in those days, though. The movies came in. God, I'm trying to remember when. But I think maybe. I the think in the '60s they would have. Uh, they had a screen at the front of the cabin where yeah, you'd watch and, the, the and, same and, movie. And then they had an overhead projector. that They loaded it with film. Are you ready for that? They lo Remember kids' film? Have you heard of film? <laughs> they loaded it with film and then uh, uh, on some of the flights you'd be on, the film would break. <laughs> and nobody on the plane, nobody working in the plane knew how to fix it. So they then say, oh, we'll give you your money back for the movie, you know. And if it was a widescreen movie, it was like pan and scan, you know. So uh, times have changed, folks. Now you're yep. getting on a plane and you got all the movies you want and you, you can dress any way you want and they treat you like shit. <laughs> really? Pay. I mean, there's no free food anymore, okay? Uh, you know, just next time you're on a flight, if you're unhappy with it, say, who do I complain to? And they'll say, if you start complaining, we're throwing you off the plane. <laughs> we're going to have you arrested when we land. Do you remember the time that I was going to New York 
And uh, I can't remember what for. I just think I was just going on vacation. I, and and I would uh, I waited was going to get on the plane and this was a time when all these planes were having long waits before they took off. Do you remember that period of time? Yeah, where it was just notorious. And um, so I, uh, uh, I I I'm supposed to go on this flight and it's just not taking off. And nobody's telling us when it's going to take off. Your flight has been delayed. Boom. That's it. That's all they would tell us. So now we're going on like three hours of waiting and everybody, I'm getting restless and everybody else is getting restless. So finally I go up to the desk and I say, we want to talk to management. And then a woman behind me joined me in the protest and she said, yeah, we want to talk to management. You know, we th feel that you should give us an explanation of why our plane isn't taking off and when we can reasonably expect it to take off. And so she and I start this literal protest at the gate, okay? And we're, we're getting people to chant and everything. I mean, we're <laughs> really just, you know. And, and she, the, you know, so I and this woman led the, led the rebellion. And finally, management came along and said, okay, we're getting ready. We're going to get you on a plane. Yeah, we've had troubles with the engine or something and whatever. And finally... Um, they uh, get us on the plane, uh, and uh, uh, the I think it was the stewardess or the cabin attendant said to me, "Now, are you going to be good?" And, and, <laughs> really? and I said, "Only if you treat us right. Otherwise, I'm going to make a big stink." She said, "Well, in that case, now, what do you think the next words were?" You can't get on the plane. Nope. We're going to have to put you in first class first oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we can keep an eye on you. That was wow. that, so I got first class because I was not because they were trying to make me happy, but as a punitive right, measure to, to keep up. me from complaining. <laughs> so if I started chanting or I started yelling or I started complaining, there wouldn't be like 200 people in the in the cabin. There would only be like 10. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> I get That'll to New York, but the best part of the story is I get to New York, and uh, um, uh, somebody calls me from San Francisco and says, "Are you uh, dating Deborah Winger?" I said, "What?" I said, "Are you dating Deborah Winger?" I said, "Well, not last time I looked. Hmm. Uh, I don't even know De De Deborah Winger." He said, "Well, according to Herb Kane, who was then the biggest columnist in San Francisco." Uh, in this morning's Chronicle, you and Deborah Winger uh, led a protest at the airport. <laughs> Turns out the woman with me was Deborah Winger, and That's Herb King great. then assumed that we were going together. <laughs> and I said, shit, that was Deborah Winger? <laughs> you know, I, never heard, I never heard that, sir. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, Debs and I uh, led a protest, uh, but uh, I didn't know it was Deborah Winger. I had no idea, you know. I mean, sometimes when people aren't in the movies, they don't look very impressive, you know. Exactly. Uh, and and uh, so I thought that was really fun, but uh, I came back and I kept joking on the air about my girlfriend, Deborah Winger, you know. <laughs> You were her urban cowboy. Did you ever date anybody famous? <laughs> no. I never did either, actually. Um, um, I missed out. I, well, I did date, uh, I had one date with Linda Blair. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, but I never went for famous people with all the famous people I met, you know. Uh, and there sometimes a guy, but somebody in my crew or somebody working with me would go, you know, you know, she was hot for you. And I didn't even pick up on it. You know, I remember at the uh, serious, uh, that, you know, she, she was hot for you. Comment came after I had interviewed Nancy Sinatra, you know, but wow. Yeah. But, uh, uh I, I never really, uh, the closest I ever came to having sex with somebody famous 
was Marilyn Chambers, and we never quite make, got the date. She wanted to go out with me. She wanted to, you know, get to know me better, as she put it. It was towards the end of her life, and then she dropped dead. So there's, there's my luck, you know. And I, you know, I liked her a lot. She was a nice lady. Well, someone said that actually uh, dating famous people might not be as hard as you think because uh, a lot of people think they're unapproachable. So they said famous people often are just alone at home. Like they said, Marilyn Monroe went out with a lot of people, uh, very low-level people, because no, everyone was afraid to ask her out. Really? Yeah. That's why. You know who said that? That the columnist uh, James Bacon. You know who I'll yeah, have he, to he, ask. He dated her for a while. I'll have to ask a question to of um, of my friend uh, Jack Garfine, who was like very close to Marilyn, and ask him mm -hmm. about that. It's a, it'd be an interesting question to ask. Him. Yeah, ask him about James Bacon. I mean, you know, she, she put up with the two Kennedys tag team in her. You know. <laughs> may have been, may have signed her death warrant with that one. <laughs> yeah, could have well been. Uh, a lot of people who say she was murdered say she was murdered by the Kennedys. You know. but, that, uh, that would be incredible. Yeah, wouldn't it be? But anyway, or so maybe I, or or the mob. Yeah, uh, the mob. Yeah, uh, I I I don't know what happened to Marilyn, but uh, she had such a sad life that it was only fitting that it would end that way, you know? Yeah, 36. Yeah, 36. Was she 36? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gee. It, 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 actually, that's really good because her memory will always be as that Marilyn, okay? Whereas if, do you remember Ginger Rogers? Uh, I remember the name, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever see her when she got older? No, I just I've seen the well, pictures. She had she was known for her legs, right? It was, she was she danced with Fred Astaire in all in, okay. in their early movies. It was Astaire Rogers, and um, uh, in fact, somebody once said, uh, "So what was your talent?" He, she said, "I did everything Fred did, but backwards and in heels." <laughs> uh, but uh, no, but but as she got older, she would appear on television, and she just looked terrible. You know, she was fat and puffy and kept trying to do the makeup so she still looked like Ginger Rogers. And so I imagine if Marilyn had gotten older, we wouldn't have that fond memory of her. Yeah, she'd be bloated. How about James Dean? What would he be like today? You know? Yeah, he he kicked out. At oh, like oh James Dean would be the kind of guy you would look at on television and say, what the fuck happened to him? <laughs> You know, that was another friend of Jack Garfine's, by the way. I had, oh, really? Yeah, I've asked him about him, too. He, he, he saw him the day that he got in the car and started driving up north and said, drive safely because that's a, that's a dangerous car because it goes fast. And he said, I'll be, I'll be a take care, and he took off. And then he said he was in a... Uh, I've got to bring him back here to do the second interview with him. Because, he sounds like an interesting guy. Yeah, he was in the screening room. He was in a screening room with Elizabeth Taylor and a bunch of people from Giant watching the rushes. And uh, somebody came in and whispered something in uh, Elizabeth Taylor's ear, and she screamed out at the top of her lungs, Oh, my God. And they said, she said, people said, what, What's wrong? What happened? And she said, James is dead. Jimmy's dead. So he was there when wow. they found out. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, but he, he gave James Dean his first uh, acting job at the Actors Theater. So, or maybe on some Broadway thing he did. I can't remember. But I got to bring him back in here to tell yeah, him Yeah, that guy sounds like he knows everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. And I love Jack, too. But I, and I got to get him in here because he's, before he forgets it all. You know, I want to hear him now, the way he, the stories you told me about him. Well, I did the first half of his life, which was his life in concentration camps. And now I want to bring him back and, and do the other history. So I, I guess I got to call him and arrange it and get him in here. Get him in, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, um, you said uh, last week that, because we were talking about 9-11, you, you wanted to mention tragedies about 
Yeah, we were, uh, we were going to ask you where you were when JFK got uh, shot. Yeah, I was in the Navy, and I was home on leave. And uh, I, I remember one morning during that, after he died, getting up and walking in, turning on the television set, and they're walking Lee Harvey Oswald out of the jail. Uh, I was watching that. Yeah, that was live. And, and, and then he gets shot, right? I saw him get shot live on television. And for years, I kept saying, you know, uh, well, we know Jack Ruby did it because there were too many witnesses. You know, so everybody was watching television at the time was a witness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but uh, that's where I was. You know, I was in the Navy and I had come home from the Navy on leave and uh, he got killed. And I went, fuck, that ruins my vacation. Now there's nothing to watch on television for three days. <laughs> Because it was end to end. I mean, you know. What I'm wondering, if by some act of God, Trump died. And I say act of God because if he did, I would then start believing in God. <laughs> he died or he was, let's say he was assassinated. Let's give it the same thing that happened to Kennedy. Do you think America would grieve in quite the same way they did with Kennedy? Uh, totally different time, though. Yeah, but people the, that hate him would go. People that hate him would be celebrating, probably. I mean, do you think that we would give it the same weight that we gave the death of Kennedy? No. Or is he so r abhorred that most people would just go, "Okay, bury him and get it over with"? But would we have, like, you remember? You remember it was like. If you remember the Kennedy, I said, where were you? When, well, you asked me, where were you? Oh, yeah. I was in... You were in I was, Dallas I was on in, the grassy knoll. <laughs> yeah. I was in sixth grade, and uh, we got a sudden an announcement came over the intercom, at, uh, and they said, the, they said the president's car had been shot at, and they sent us home. They didn't tell us he was dead, and then uh, got home, and... Uh, yeah, like you said, it was a nonstop. That was a Friday. It was well, how were you? Were you? Did your parents tell you he was then dead? Yeah, as soon as I got home, I found out. That's when I found out. Because yeah. people were. People, I remember we were leaving school, and uh, somebody in the hallway said, "I bet the chauffeur is glad that guy was a bad shot." So we we thought you know, you know, he was still alive. Well, oh, because it, because the only thing you got was that the president's car had been shot at. Been shot at, but we're sending you all home. You know, why did why did why, why did they send everybody home? I bet I bet by then the teachers knew they were he was dead, or that he had been shot, and they didn't want to pass that information to you. They probably yeah they were young enough they don't want to panic us so. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember it was a very depressing weekend, and it was like nonstop. Care. And then we, yeah, we both saw we both saw Jack Ruby kill Oswald. Yeah, and <laughs> I think when that happened, my father just said, "Okay, that's a conspiracy." <laughs> well, uh, it's you know it's hard to believe that it wasn't. Well, why why did why did Jack Ruby do that? You know, is the question. Yeah. Um, it, but, you know, today that whole scenario could have never happened because security would be so tight. Oh, yeah, never. <laughs> Ruby just walked into the thing. I've got donuts. <laughs> I got donuts. <laughs> That's all you needed to kill someone in the 60s. It, 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 I got donuts. <laughs> I got donuts, and while they're eating them, you shoot them. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're writing. <laughs> huh? You've come up with a phone when I've got donuts. You're on fire. <laughs> yeah, but I've got donuts. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I just never could quite. Well, we know how he got in because he knew all the people of the police department. Yeah. You know, but still, why out of all the people in Dallas, this guy, you know? And um, that's why I, to this day, think the Kennedy assassination was a mob hit. And yeah, that's what uh, we talked to more Saul about that. Yeah, you get a yeah mystery I, lesson. Yeah. Well, I've always considered it a mob hit. It, it's very simply, you know, uh, and uh, uh, because it, they had every reason to hate him all the way around, uh, and and uh, you know the, the Cubans hated him, but not you know who who was in league with the Cubans to a certain extent, the mob. Yeah, it, it really was uh, uh, quite a day in history to live through. 
Uh, and would he have wound up being a great president in the end? I don't know. He wasn't such a great president while he was alive. That's the great myth about Kennedy is that he was this great president. No, oh, it's like James Dean. You die young and you, <laughs> you develop a myth automatically. So. The reason all his ideas survived and became law was because of Johnson. Lyndon Johnson got through more legislation maybe than any president, yeah, except Roosevelt. Yeah. And he went in there and said, I'm going to finish the agenda, uh, agenda that uh, the Kennedy started. Yeah, Kennedy wanted Medicare, but uh, couldn't get it through, and Johnson did. Yep, absolutely. Hey, listen, another fine... Another history lesson here with El Fomo and Alex. Uh, well, El Fomo and Alex, yes, yes. I got donuts. And, I got... <laughs> I got donuts. Boy, you make me laugh, Bubs. You make me. You that's make me. Got, if that I, line's got to be used for somebody that gets into a police state. I got donuts, and he kills. Hey, we got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that could be your new catchphrase. I got donuts. <laughs> the pink box. I got donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's him. Yeah, it's a guy named Larry El Fomo. El Fomo. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Alex. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here I am. Here's Alex. Here's, um, here, I've got donuts. <laughs> we may have just come up with a new catchphrase for Bubs. I've got donuts. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Uh, and uh, I always enjoy having Bubs on. He is one of my favorite people in the whole world, as I say over and over and over again. And uh, uh, you know what this show does for me? Uh, I wish I could. I wish I. Could. I can't really move this camera around that much, but I've got a. I've got a golf ball down here, and while I'm on the show, I rub the bottom of my foot on the golf ball, and that helps break up the plantar fasciitis that I supposedly have, according to my physical therapist who I've got to make an appointment with soon. Anyway, how are you? Good to see you. Let me uh, let me turn on the uh, Skype here. Skype, 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 Skype. Okay, Skype is up. Then I turn it on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, get rid of that. And we're ready to go. Uh, no, I, it says the latest version of Skype is ready to install now. Won't you uh, take? It won't take long to upgrade, and you'll get the latest improvements and fixes. Not now. You know they 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 said they're going to let us keep using this Skype that I use, which is Skype Classic, and they said we'll let you keep using it, and I like it because it looks better than this new shit they've got. Plus, I can't do it on this machine. I have to move over to the other machine to do it for all kinds of reasons. But anyway, I'll explain that later. Now they're here. They're, that's one. That's a panelist calling, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we go to our our regular ritual of the citizens panel. And first on the panel tonight, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Mr. Morse code himself, <laughs> Vernon Nunn. How are you, Vernon? I got donuts. <laughs> I got donuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, how, how, t type uh, tap out uh, your name on that Morse code. Boy, I just I you know that that's a talent that I I admire because I could never do it. I have no idea how you do it, <laughs> and plus, there's no use for it anymore, right? Other than having fun. Other than having fun. I mean, they don't they don't use Morse code a, a, anywhere in the world, do they, for anything in particular? Yeah, mm. where waste won't uh, cover the area. You know, sometimes the Morse code gets through on certain frequencies to certain distances that you can't with voice. Yeah, but then you got to have people know, know Morse code like Vernon does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they training people in the military to do Morse code these days? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. So, see, you're wrong, Phil. No, I'm not wrong. You use Morse code to get through to certain places yes, that you but, couldn't with but, voice. But wouldn't the military keep doing it if they felt that that was a need? And yeah. the military has all these expensive satellites now, so they don't have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. So you do it for fun. 
You do it because it's, yep. it's a great old fashioned skill. Yep. You know, I like it. I like it a lot. Hello, John Perulis. How are you? Hi, Alex. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm me, fine. Let me see. Let me uh, let me bring uh, Jeff in here. Now we, we have a, a panel of four so far. This looks like a Beatles album cover for Let It Be. Yeah. You know, you you were just talking about uh, remembering what you were doing during the JFK assassination. I was 11 years old. Wait a minute, old. wait a minute. We, I haven't talked about that in weeks. No, you, just now with Bubbles. You were oh, talking was I? about I, I, you I, being I, in the Navy. Oh I, oh, I record those things days ahead of time, uh, you know, week oh, ahead of time. And I, oh, okay. So I don't, I rem I don't remember what's on them, but I do remember I've got donuts. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just funny. I, I just got finished uh, doing some video work for Russ Baker. He wrote a book called uh, Family of Secrets on the Bush Family. And uh, George Sr., you know, uh, W's dad, doesn't remember where he was on November 22nd, 1963. Yeah. I was 11 years old, and I remember exactly where yeah, I was. I, I, I was I, there are certain events in history, if you lived through them. Uh, that you remember. I mean, I'm sure uh, most people remember where they were when they found out that the World Trade Center had been hit. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, that's probably the more modern one for kids, you know. But those who, rem <laughs> who remember. Kids, yeah. who remember I the was in school. I think I was in third grade, possibly fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it, the announcement came over the PA system. Yeah, what did they yeah. say? We have some bad news. We have good news. We have bad news. Good news is you get out early. Bad news is the president is dead. Yeah, really. Yeah. I don't think they said the president is dead. I think they said he was shot. Yeah, he was shot. Shot. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was the that was the first thing that they came out with was that he was shot. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, and then uh, all of a sudden, Walter Cronkite, you know looks at the camera, takes his glasses off. I, I remember him kind of, or putting his glasses on. That was what he did. And just said that uh, the president has died at uh, blah, blah, blah. And he looked at the time on the Oh, clock. he was visibly upset. I remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Where yeah. were you? And he looked when... up at a clock. He looked up at a clock and gave the time. Yeah, where were you when, uh, when uh, Kennedy was shot, uh, Rob? Kindergarten. Kin oh, we were, God. We were, Go fuck we were yourself. Watched. What? We were watching a movie in kindergarten in the light, but two o'clock in the afternoon, I was an afternoon kindergartner yeah. and they, the lights came on, the projector went off and they told us and they sent us all home. Wow. They, yeah. They, uh, yeah. Got, school closed a little early. Yeah. Uh, how, where were you, Jeff? Well, I guess I was old. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. in college. I thought you were on the grassy knoll. Hey, I don't know. I was in Massachusetts and college and, uh, I don't know how I actually knew it was on the radio, probably not TV. I don't think we had a TV in college at that time. And um, the, the school was closed. Yeah. And so somehow we all tried to figure out we could get a ride to go home. Yeah. And I went back to New York. Being the kind of self-indulgent individual that I am, I was just pissed because uh, you know I couldn't watch the Beverly Hillbillies. You know, <laughs> I was pissed because I, I was pissed because I couldn't watch my cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like the whole world stopped. Yeah. Uh, well, it, well I, I went to a Catholic school, yeah. so the nuns came in to tell us, and every all the nuns were crying. Mm -hmm. And Kennedy was our king; he was the Catholic king. So, and in fact, I uh, used to hang out at uh, Hyannis, Cape Cod, at St. Francis Roman Catholic Church, and I uh, uh, stood next to him twice. You know, it was like seeing God. I, I, I think they had so pictures. It was different for Catholics. I think in, in Catholic churches and in Catholic homes, they had pictures of uh, Kennedy, much like uh, uh, black families have pictures of Obama. Or Martin, Martin Luther King. Or Martin Luther King. But, but, but you go up and down the street here in Harlem and in the store windows, you got pictures of, of Barack Obama side by side with Martin Luther King. You know. Wow. Yeah. Now, you, you live on his street. What? Don't you live on MLK? No. I, 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 no. Oh, no, that's no. right. You're on, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, Adam, Adam Clayton Powell. Powell. That fucking Adam Clayton asshole. Powell. Yeah, he he, he, the, he died, and they gave him a street here in Harlem, which you know, like he was a fucking crook, all right. And and he had a had a, na a street name for him here in Harlem, which I now unfortunately have to live on, 
because it really was 7th Avenue, and you st I still put 7th Avenue on my address because I don't want to have to put, are you ready for this? Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. I'm sorry, I get writer's cramp, you know? Yeah, I don't blame you. Huh? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So I just go uh, 7th Avenue, and everybody, you know, if you, if you mail a letter to me and say, you know, 7th Avenue, 1925 7th Avenue, they'll, they'll you know. Well, I'm, I'm happy there's no Willie Brown uh, Street in San Francisco yet. The Bay Bridge in one direction going east uh, is the Willie Brown Bridge. We, oh, no. We, no, there's you're a sign. Yeah. No, you get on at Sterling oh. Street. You know where the Sterling Street exit is off yeah, of? Uh, yeah, yeah. Willie also, Brown, for people who don't know, was a mayor of San Francisco. Yeah. And the Speaker of the House. Yeah. Uh, in uh, the State House of uh, yeah. California. Frequent guest on uh, KCBS AM. Yeah. They uh, have free food. Yeah. <laughs> and he would show up for it. You can be damn sure of that, the crook. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff. Is it still 7th Avenue, like on, uh, I don't know, 32nd Street? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, 7th Avenue, a lot of these things, here, here's what they do, is they take streets and there's still, you can still say, I, if I tell a cab driver I'm going to, you know, 116th and 7th Avenue, he'll take me to 116th yeah. and Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. Everybody still, in fact, there, we have a thing called Avenue of Americas here in, in New yeah. York. And that that, that's just for, for people who want to put it on the stationery. If I tell a cab driver I'm going to 42nd and 6th, he knows exactly where I'm going. You know, but what happens is they sometimes name streets after people. Like, for instance, then they're usually side streets. Uh, right next to the Ed Sullivan Theater, the street between uh, 7th and 8th, and uh, wherever, wherever the Ed Sullivan Theater was where Letterman mm -hmm. used to do his show, is that, that street yes. is Senor Wentz. It, yeah, it's called 53rd. It's, it's Senor Wentz's Way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Senor Wences was a ventriloquist who appeared regularly on the Ed Sullivan Show. Mm -hmm. uh, for you, easy for me, difficult. Uh, and um, it was a yeah. uh, closed box. I love that act. That was one of the. If you ever get go online, it's it's, you can get them on uh, on YouTube. We look up Senor Wences, W-E-N-C-E-S, Senor Wences, and you will see the funniest ventriloquist act you've ever seen in your life. But anyway. But, but and, and, and there's a Duke Ellington <laughs> way, for instance. Yeah. Uh, there's a Swing Street, you know, off of Sixth Avenue, and uh, sadly, sadly, there is a Bruce Morrow way uh, off of Sixth Avenue. I don't Everybody know. Everybody that's on it's a cousin. Yeah, well, no, he uh, he undoubtedly had to pay somebody off for that, you know. That he, must be right next to where the ABC, at, right by the Warwick and ABC. You know, uh, I think right you're. Right, I think Avenue. you're. I think you're right. You're yeah. absolutely right, you know. But uh, I was on that same street, right? Did they name it after you? And up the street, I was at uh, WMCA, and they didn't name a street after me. You know, Alex Bennett Way. So, but they didn't name it. I, I think you have to have like a bunch of people who run in there and politically get it. It's just honorary because they still have the name of the real street on it, so you don't get confused. <laughs> yeah, and yes. It's, and it's only that one block. Like Bruce Morrow, the, the Bruce Morrow thing only goes from Sixth Avenue to whatever the next avenue over is. It yeah. doesn't. It's not. Does doesn't. Uh, it's not the whole street, right? Yeah, but they have done something uh, because uh, of, of, of Bruce Morrow. They have carpeted the entire street so that it has a rug on. <laughs> Shag rug. Only, only people who know Bruce Morrow get that joke. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, yeah. God. I think, I think Avenue of the Americas mm -hmm. is only mentioned by someone who's a non-New Yorker. Yeah, you don't, if you're... If, uh, a New Yorker would never say that. They right. wouldn't even know where it is. But you know what, you know what, non, do you know what non-New Yorkers, or new New Yorkers used to have that we didn't, that, but we had something they didn't? We had a 212 area code. Right. Yeah. But yeah. now it's impossible to get a 212 area code. You almost have to buy somebody else's. Uh, Someone has to die. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm like Seinfeld. It's like the Seinfeld episode remember, they did about the two one two area code. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm like I'm six four six, 
And I felt very bad when that happened because when I left New York and went to California and came back, I lost my right to a 212 number. You know. And you probably lost your 415 area code from the Bay Area. Too. I, I don't even know. No, that. He, he was in Marin. And they had no, uh, I no. Think I was in, I was in, I was in the. Mar and then when he went was, to San Francisco, yeah. it was still four one five. Yeah, yeah. Four one five was pretty much a general area code for San Francisco and for Marin County. That's right. right. I, I still Bay. have four one five. Yeah, the East Bay we got ripped. It went to five ten, and then it yeah. went to nine two five. Nine two five. So what is what is your what is your phone exchange? Nine two five. Nine two five. Oh, I thought it was six six six. And that's, now that's he, the number he, over here's my what door. Really, here's what happens. It's really strange now because times have changed. Okay, so uh, I call my ex-wife Ronnie, uh, and I call her on her telephone number, which is a two one two area code. Uh, because she wherever kept, she's kept. gone, she's uh, you're allowed to keep your phone number on your cell phone so you can it when somebody's calling from a 212 area code number you don't know if they're really calling from 212 it sounds like obamacare you can keep your doctor you can keep your area code <laughs> yeah 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 uh, but anyway that was when we had a truthful president but anyway uh uh so i uh I think you, so. you know so so uh they have all these streets that are named for other people and so what they did down here there's one of the most legendary streets in all of Harlem is Lenox Avenue. I mean, if you want, if you talk about Harlem, you're talking about, you know, Lenox Avenue. Like, is that the furnace guy? What? No, no. no. <laughs> about 125th and Lenox is like what we would call classic Harlem. All right. For, am I right? For an address. Yep. Uh, yep. And what they did is they made that Mal Malcolm X Boulevard. Uh, but it still says Lennox under it as well. What, what, who was Lennox? Because my grandfather used to live on Lennox Road uh, near Flatbush Avenue. Have no <laughs> idea. Have no idea. Have no idea. But the fact is that, that uh, you know, I think Malcolm X, because he was so indigenous to New, to, to, New, to Harlem, they nobody bothered, minded them, you know, adding the name Malcolm X uh, to the... Uh, to the uh, address, you know, the, to the street. So, uh, but I, and I, I live on Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. The guy was a crook. He was an asshole. Uh, he was uh, everything wrong with a, you know, he was one of those kind of people who was a, uh, a congressman who uh, he was a congressman, right? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't the guy who, take was, over, who took over for him? He was a crook too. Charlie Rangel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, Charlie Rangel. Yeah. Uh, I, is he still is here? He, I don't think so. I think he finally retired. I, I think. Yeah. He, yeah, he's probably living. But uh, no, no, it, it, it's funny that 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 particular seat in the Congress was gave you the right to steal. <laughs> you know, you know? And so, it was they, mandatory. so because they everybody everybody wanted to make a big deal yeah, out of Adam do, Clayton right? Powell Jr. because he was so well known that they named the street after him. And unfortunately, I live on it. But my, I was a big here fan of, and I, a hero of mine was Malcolm X. I wish my address was Malcolm X Boulevard. But unfortunately, I've got the crook, so you know. But anyway, hey, I, I, can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, the the uh, uh, Morse code guy, I forget your name. You're silent. Um, I was watching this documentary on uh, engineering and the sinking of the Titanic, and there were two ships, the Californian and the Carpathian, that were closest to the Titanic. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, I thought he said this, I don't, you're being a Morse code guy, maybe you can clear this up, uh, that the Morse code uh, key guy on the Titanic said, did some kind of insulting thing to the Californian, and the Californian shut their Morse code down, so they didn't respond to the catastrophe that's happened. not what I heard what I, what, what I heard to begin with the California is the is the one that went and did the rescue the Carpathia no, Carp oh, was it Carpathia, Carpathia? Yeah. no yeah. Well, I thought it was the California well anyway no, the, the yeah Carpathia. uh the uh, California didn't and it was because I think uh, the the captain of the ship said uh, I I don't want to go there you know, I, I, I don't believe the call. Oh, I thought whatever. it was a Morse code issue. I don't well, think there was, was a Morse code uh, sent, 
uh, when the Titanic realized that they were foundering, and it was CQD. You know, you've heard me uh, sign on here with CQ. Well, the CQD meant distress. Uh, they're saying, they're uh, saying, hey, everybody, I'm in trouble. Yeah. And and the California yeah. didn't hear them because they sent their radio man to bed. Ah. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's that was it. Okay. Yeah, I guess it was, yes, it was a Carpathia that picked them up because I always felt embarrassed yeah. that I was from California and the California didn't go pick them up, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I don't, yeah, I didn't ever hear that story about, you know, well, dueling Morse you know, codes. Your, la yeah. your landlords uh, lost their life on the Titanic, and so that's probably why they hadn't raised the rent in what, all those what, years. What, what, do you mean my <laughs> what do you mean my landlords? The Astors. Oh, the ast oh, yeah, the Astors did lose their, uh, the Astors built this building, I mean. Yeah, the uh, old, old man uh, Astor. And, and also my ex-boss's um, great-grandfather. Was it his great-grandfather or grandfather? It had to be his great-grandfather. No, it was grandfather. Uh, our, I worked for R. Peter Strauss, and the Strausses died on the, uh, on the Titanic. Right. Uh, they're the famous ones that they use in every movie about the Titanic, where the wife wouldn't go on the rowboat because she wanted to stay with her husband. And they were an elderly couple. And they went, he, they went down on the Titanic I, right after he went down on her, I guess. I don't know, you know, what the ritual <laughs> was. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, I, I said, you know, um, I said to myself, if, if they just had gone on that trip a little bit younger in life, uh, and the same thing had happened. I might not have had to put up with R. Peter Strauss. So, yeah. you know. Uh, and R. Peter Strauss went on, of course, to marry Monica Lewinsky's mother. Oh, so, Jesus. It all ties together. After his, ex, his old wife died, and she was the heir to the, uh, uh, the New York Times. She was a Salzburger. Mm. Um, so it was all inbreeding that was going on there. <laughs> because uh, the... Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, the the Strausses started Macy's. Yeah, and and um, you know, a, a great story. Great story. I heard. I I don't know. I I just remember this because we're talking about the New York Times. But um, um, okay, uh, the New York Times wouldn't advertise in the Hearst local Hearst newspaper years ago, so Hearst decided. You know, this is one of the biggest ad companies that buy ad time and so on anywhere in the in the in the country so William Randolph Hearst decided to have lunch with I think Mr. Strauss to see why they weren't buying time in his papers or time space in his papers I'm thinking radio and uh, let me see if I can just get this story right and he said so they're eating and finally um, uh, William Randolph Hearst said, listen, I, I, one of the reasons I took you out to lunch is I want to ask you a question. You, you don't advertise with our newspaper, and I want to know why. And he's very simple. He says, your readers are our shoplifters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I got Bad demographic. Right. Huh? Bad demographic. Yeah, bad demographic. But, uh, uh, you know, I mean... Um, so uh, it, it, the naming of streets and things like that, I think, is a very political thing. Um, but uh, now, you know, they're naming stadiums. You can pay for naming rights on stadiums. Well, that, why the, can't you name, have naming rights for streets? Yeah, like, yeah, like Kelvinator Street or something like that. Yeah. Well, they kind of do that. The Adopt a Highway program, where you see the yeah. next mile is brought to you by whomever, you know. Well, uh, mostly it's a slain police officer. Yeah. No, oh, you see a lot of no, I see a lot no, of no, no, no. This, 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 uh, this. Uh, uh, m the next mile is yeah. basically brought to you by Home Lumber. You know, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That. Yeah. But part of the deal is that the people at Home Lumber have to keep it clean. No, they pay money. They pay. And, yeah. And. Well, There's this, and then yeah. the convicts you know, sponsorship. People, yeah. yeah, yeah. The people who get arrested and have to do uh, time uh, public service, uh, if they if they don't have their wits about them, they end up having to clean up the highways. You know. Yeah, yeah. If they don't have a special skill. So, anyway, um, so what what else? Is, what's happening these days? It's, uh, you mean besides the Brett Kavanaugh? 
fiasco. You mean the Bart Simpson? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss, <laughs> Miss Ford. Huh? The For, uh, Ford. I guess she's going to testify Dr. on Ford, Monday. You, Dr. Ford, Phil. She's Dr. a psychologist. I, yeah, she's a doctor. Dr. She, went, she doctor. went. Yes, she is. She's a doctor. She's a doctor, she's a doctor of psychology, PhD, Phil. She's a psychiatry. Yeah, she PhD. is. Yeah, hey, she's Alex a good lady. Alex is a PhD. No, I don't. I know oh. that. <laughs> no. I hey, mean, I wish Kavanaugh would take a vacation at Cibolo Creek Ranch in Marfa, Texas. That's where Antonin spent his last vacation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, 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 I am, um, you know. You, this, would, think, you I, would think if Kavanaugh had nothing, if nothing in his past, then he would say, you know what? I want this investigation. I want my name clear. No, no, no. He does not. You know he why wants he doesn't, have a, though? He wants to have the hearing in front of a partisan. You know, that'd be like, uh, you know, the, the people already have their minds made up. You know, it's kind of funny. You hear everybody say, all the Republican politicians say, you know, we got to do this, we got to do this, but she deserves to be heard. But she deserves to be heard. It almost reminds me of the Seinfeld episode where they said, I'm not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> like they have a line that goes along yeah. with it, you know? Yeah. 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 I the mean, Senate uh, is an investigatory body. No, it's and not. Yes, it is. No, it is. It is, it is meant. It's it's it is meant. It is body. meant to look into situations and advise and consent the president. Right, and that's what they're going to do. And they, no, they're not. If they were an investigatory they body, can, they can interview this lady and decide, uh, based on uh, the findings, whether to advise well, her or well, call I, her I, I think that there needs to be a, a, a fair hearing, which I don't think she's going to get. With Grassley and Orrin Hatch and all those doofuses who, who you know, uh, last time didn't Trump la didn't Trump call for an independent uh, uh, judge to sit no. in on this thing? No, no. Right, she right, passed. Right. She passed the lie detector test, and today Nancy Pelosi challenged uh, Kavanaugh to take a lie detector test. You know, cops have to take a lie detector test if you yeah. want to enter the police force or the military. You got to take a you know, for a higher position, you're going to get take a lie detector. The Supreme Court's the highest judicial office in the land. Why not force these guys to take a lie detector test? Uh, I, uh, I, Vernon, I Vernon, Vernon's got his hand up. Yeah. I think it's funny that the Republicans actually had the balls to say, we don't need to get the FBI involved in this. They don't do that kind of thing. Not what they say. What do you think the I stands for in FBI? Federal Bureau That's, of Investigations. That's what yes. they do. But they don't have any jurisdiction over uh, this. This. But, well, they did. They, well, wait, wait a minute. They, they, they well, did. They did. They did. Where Hill. when Anita, where Anita Hill was concerned. In, uh, any, I don't in that. any situation, well, because what happens no. is no, no, before no. they vet, they they're the Phil, ones that do the Phil, it is not any different than when Anita Ford testified. Orrin Hatch Phil. and Grassley Phil. were all asking the FBI to investigate. And in fact, the president at the time, and, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh doesn't so want to like, be investigated because they have they have documented proof that he lied to Congress on previous confirmations. All you want is delay so that hopefully... Yes, yes we yeah. want a yes. delay That's so that we... Want. No, we want it's a, just a just we delay. Want a delay. This is time, dirty, Phil. dirty politics. Phil, let me oh, ask you this question. Then, Rob Rob has the floor start. next. I want to just say that, but I want to finish Senator saying this to you, Phil. Mitch McConnell Phil, would not even give Brett, uh, Phil, this, 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 this is a this is a, a job which he is going to be entitled to have for the rest of his life. All right. I think that if there's even a slight doubt, we should err on the side of caution and investigate fully any charges that may be made against him. So we're putting a person into that position who deserves to fully be in that position and be responsible enough to have that position. So what you're asking us to do is to simply close our eyes, hold our no nose, and say, go ahead, let oh, him be confirmed. you're holier than thou. N well, I am ho yeah. holier than thou where this is concerned. It's important uh, that, that we find All you want is delay. Of oh. course. Of course, That's because these a, because man man all, all, you re all you fucking Republicans want, Phil, is a rush. You well, want to you want to like know, slam him so, in that so, court as fast as possible. 
so Louis C.K. when he was accused, this has nothing to do. This has nothing to do with this. Has nothing to do with Phil. You are so full of fucking shit. Yes. Uh, 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 I'll tell you what, Rob. Rob let Rob. Let Rob talk. I'll tell you what. I, I, you know what I was going to say before. We're so past it. What I would like to say though is Republicans have really forgotten what's true and what's important. It's all about the end game. I've said it before, but it is so true. Phil, you are not thinking about what is right, what is just. You're thinking about what you want to slam through, and you got power now, so you're just trying to slam it through. Nobody cares about ethics. Nobody cares about what's the right thing to do. You just want to slam they're, it through. They're, they're senators and congressmen. They never cared about ethics. No, 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 what you're doing is you, you, that's what about is Okay. No, it isn't. Yes, Who it is. Who cares if Absolutely. it is? Absolutely. Where did you get this bullshit? What about? It? Well, because it because that's TV the way you argue everything, and the way Trump argues. What about uh, Obama Hannity. when he did this, it's or what about Sean this Hannity, one? your favorite newsman? Yeah, you got it from you got it from some broadcaster, and and now all of a sudden it's law. Fuck. What about ism? Hey, you know? Anita Hill. Anita Hill took a lie detector test and passed it. But not that scumbag. He graduated two years ahead of me at Holy Cross, by the way. Uh, was one of the first blacks that came in to Holy Cross, all white male uh, college in Worcester, Mass., mm -hmm. home to Abby Hoffman. Right. Uh, on affirmative action program. And that scum lying dirtbag uh, is now opposed to affirmative action. And that's how he got his ass into Holy Cross. Lying piece of shit. And, and this other Catholic boy is another lying piece of shit and I hope he goes down and All flames. I'm saying Me Phil too. is that when you've yeah. got when you've got a position which a man is going to have for the rest of his life this in many ways may be one of the most important things any member of congress is going to vote on in their term in office because they are going to be setting the agenda for maybe the next 40 or 50 years by doing yeah. this what, what so so if before you do it old. before you do it don't you think you should look at everything and look no, at every question are. that's being asked about this person shouldn't he be they vetted are. shouldn't he be vet no he isn't being she vetted has, she has the ability phil to we sat here voice. a week ago and we all agreed that this hearing was nothing but a hearing that he was going to go through anyway and that it was a waste of everybody's time and even you and agreed with me so on that is, so is this allegation no this it's allegation waste, may have it's it's ha may have time. some real weight to it you're really she bad you know, passed the lie detector test. Phil, you're really you know being serious, huh? Ford, Phil? What's that have to do with the price of tea in China, Vern? She's you know getting death threats. You're telling She's me it's a waste has, of time. It you're is. telling me it's a waste of time. How do you know that, was, Phil, if you don't know her? Well, Phil, I you, know that she is being given an opportunity to voice her uh, opinion and uh, say what she thinks happened. I Phil. think she's mixed up about it. I think that she has a mixed up or had encounter with, with someone else's. Phil, account. she's taken a lie detector test and passed well, it. She believes it. She's a psychologist. She knows how to take a lie detector so, test. So, Phil, don't you think it's important then to find out whether she's got her, her is, recollection isn't it good? wrong or not? It, isn't it good? Wouldn't it, it, isn't it important for Brett? Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it important for Brett Kavanaugh? If, if, wait a minute. Isn't it important? And I'll go to you, uh, Rob, next. Uh, isn't it important for Brett Kavanaugh to have this thing come out completely so he can clear his name? But he, they don't seem to be wanting to do that. They just want to rush him into that office and forget about him. He okay. should come and they postpone. And, and on Monday, she has an opportunity to confront the person. She is that not she going in Monday. You haven't heard the there's news. It's an artificial deadline, Phil. It's an artificial there's no deadline, to make and there's it no Monday or nothing. There's no, I like there's Monday. no reason. Monday is no better reason than to make it Monday or nothing. That's an artificial deadline. Oh, it's no reason for you guys that want to delay and obstruct. Well, hey, delaying hey, by a few you days. Vince McConnell did when he was in the minority. You don't have to yell. I hear you. Yes, uh, uh, Rob. Rob. What? What? I, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, do you remember at all? Nope. Nope. No. Oh, I'm sorry, Rob. No, I should have. Well. I should have just said that. Rob at that point, and you know, I'll do it well, next time. None of us can remember what we. Oh, I remember say. now. Okay. Remember now. Don't don't stop it. Let him go. The yeah. the uh, it is important that the people who she said were in the room 
have denied it, right? But right. none of them have denied it under oath. Yeah, yeah. And we need to talk to those people. Are yeah. they coming because, in? No, that's because they that they want they want the investigation. Get these guys under oath and ask them questions. Hey, Elaine from uh, Seinfeld, Dreyfus, uh, she uh, just wrote a long letter in support of Christine Ford and said that she went to that same school mm -hmm. that Christine yeah. Ford did. Right. And it's the same. Guys, I went to Catholic school all my life. There were fucking jerks like a Kavanaugh there. I, I know the type. Uh, I don't think this lady's lying. I think she's... I, I did bad things when I was a teenager, when I was 17 years old. I remember every single fucking bad thing I did. And I'm not going to enumerate them here because, you know, this is a public airway. But oh, I never killed... Limitations. I never raped or killed anybody, okay? But, uh, you know, uh, you remember those things. And uh, you could see the deceit written all over this scumbag's face. I'm sorry. He says you know, he didn't do it. Well, that's so. Oh, uh, he's, no, 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 listen, listen to yourself, Phil. What a sexist Phil. motherfucker you are! Because what you'll do is you believe Brett Kavanaugh without question, and yet this woman makes an allegation, no, and she's a liar, and she can't remember guy, things. His last and, name was Judge. Huh? And he, she said he was in the room, and he says he didn't his his name was yeah, Judge. Put him under put him under oath, and and of course Kavanaugh is going to say he didn't do it. Who's going to admit to something? Have you like seen that? some of the writings? Have no, you seen no. some of the writings this guy Judd has done? You no, know, they're writing writing books and stuff about uh, how men, uh, the women should be happy of a man's passion because it's the most marvelous thing in the world, and a whole bunch of crap like that. That's a, a bunch of sexist drivel, and he's written books on this, and he's sitting around saying they didn't do this in high school. He has a character in one of his books named Brett, who literally forces himself on a woman. Oh, Kavanaugh. He hey, well, David Brock, a uh, former Republican operative who was friends with Kavanaugh, said that Kavanaugh used to openly brag about how he would re overturn Roe v. Wade. And, you know, maybe that's going to happen. Kavanaugh just may pass this. I swear to God, if they try to, uh, and if they do overturn Roe v. Wade, the nurses' unions throughout the, the whole land, uh, doctors will show support. This will reinvigorate the, lo the labor movement like you have never seen before. I they will you. openly violate the law if uh, the, uh, they try to overturn Roe v. Wade. And there will be fucking riots in the streets. I'm, t I I'm saying it right now. All right. We'll see. Yeah. But, I mean, your whole attitude that, oh, Brett Kavanaugh must be telling the truth. Why would he lie? And then, of course, so. and of course she's, of course, of course she's many, a liar. Many, many times well, by the FBI. Well, they, they, it, but uh, now they, all of a they, sudden, they she never was in couples counseling and has a revelation in 2012 during her couples counseling. And then uh, she, you know, she doesn't know when it happened, where it happened. Uh, all she remembers is there was somebody in the room. She uh, she thinks it's this guy. This is first supposition. First of all, first of all, you, you don't, don't know, know what she says. Like yeah, you don't know first what of she all, says. You don't know what yeah. she says because she hasn't this testified. Fact, she, yeah. Phil, fine, Phil, fine, she fine, hasn't fine. said a word about it. She has just yeah. said that she had been assaulted by Brett Kavanaugh, and that's as far as she's gone. She's never given details. That's what she wants to do before a congressional committee. So she'll do it on Monday. But yeah, no, she's, she's not going to be there did. Monday. She's not lucky she Monday. didn't uh, end up like Mary Jo Kopechny. Now, there's a Catholic boy syndrome for you, too, co crime cover-up. I'm telling you, it's in the psychological makeup of these characters. I know it. I grew Teddy, up with Teddy was a drunk. And, he uh, was a liar, too. Was Brett Kavanaugh when he was in high yeah, school. Yeah, he was yeah. a drunk. Right? Well, well, that's a big one of those part. Irish things, I think. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, now you're just, you're just this Irish thing, you know, but the so, girl, so the girl, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it, you know, it's in the blood. You know, and, you know, you do? everybody I know that's Irish drinks. The Supreme Court of our land. Yeah, because he's okay. one let of me, nine. Let me, let me, let me just put this in another way, and I don't know what went on. Uh, I'm only going to go uh, by what is being alleged. Okay, but think about that, this Poor woman, Phil, for a second. But you can't because you're a sexist uh, fucking no pig. Uh, she's wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will you let me finish, Phil? Phil, let me let shut up a second and let me talk, okay? 
Think about her, that she's gone through her whole life with certain problems, maybe sexually, a lot of other kinds of problems, which she had to go work out in group counseling, okay? That's right. Because of this incident, because of this incident, because of what this animal did to her, all right? right? And now she wants to completely let it go by going public with it. Something which, you know, she didn't have to do. She's had to move out of her house because of death threats, everything yeah, else. Yeah. You know, this woman has paid a price for just simply saying, hey, hold on a second. You got to find out something about this guy. So don't sit around and start smirching her because she wants her day in front of the committee in a unbiased light to tell her story. Okay, you let know, me preface this by saying bullshit, number one. And number two... Why is it bullshit? And, What's bullshit? I'm telling you why it's bullshit. Because it, in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. Kavanaugh has rights. She's the accuser. And if okay. she's going to accuse, Phil, she's got to make Phil, her unfortunately, case. That's this... right, she does. That's she right. Give her the chance. But this is not a court of law, Phil. This is politics. You're yelling this and screaming about his rights, but what about her rights? Right. Her rights, uh, first blah, of all, blah, 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 bullshit, Phil. He, it's the accused who has rights, and she has been the one that accused. Well, Kavanaugh. this isn't a court of law. Kavanaugh, to begin with, criminal, to begin with, this is not a criminal. This is not a criminal case. That's where, yeah, that's where well, you. Just because the statute of innocent till proven is, guilty it, is something in a criminal case. Yes. Well, if you're going to make an accusation like this that the, the spurches his his reputation. Uh, his future, his family's future, then, you know what, you got His future, he's still yeah. already, he's, he's going back to the third district. He's already got a life appointment. He ain't going back to the third district. He's if going he's to the Supreme Court. If he's not confirmed at the Supreme Court, he'll go he'll back to the third district. Because this woman, this woman has not got uh, the goods to, uh, to cause... You don't know that, Phil. Florida you do not certain. know that. You're only assuming that. You do not know that, neither do I. That's because I don't read the left-wing And I don't... don't, He's such a victim! I don't... He's been accused. He has rights. Yes, and she has rights, too. Well, her right is to prove her accusation. And she wants to to do that, but she wants it in an unbiased setting. She it wants it in. No, have you oh, seen? Yeah. Have you seen Grassley? Oh, you s- old white men are going to judge her. It's not just the eleven white men. What about Feinstein? Who? who what are the Democrats that are on this uh, particular committee? They're in the minority. They may be in the minority, but there's plenty of them there. They're going to make sure that she gets hey, her you know, opportunity. If, if Kavanaugh, if Kavanaugh had, if Kavanaugh had any integrity, if he was a fucking M A N, a man with cojones. He would say, okay, I'll do the lie detector test. That's how absolutely clear I am. John, he has rights. He is a fucking chicken shit. He has and rights, and, and so does she. He, he you know, know, Phil, know Phil, Phil shut up a second, Phil. You know when he gave up his rights? You know when he gave up his rights when he said, no, yeah. I didn't know he gave wait a minute. Up his rights. Do, you, do you want to know when he gave up his rights? I don't think he, he, he did, gave up his uh, rights the minute he said, yes, I would like to be a member of the Supreme Court. He gave up his rights because then every single nick and nook and cranny of his life could be investigated and looked into. He gave up his rights by applying for the job. And the FBI investigated him and didn't find any of this. They were only looking... Wait a minute. It's ongoing. Yep. And it should not stop. They should be investigating this. If they do an investigation on a person and any new... I- information arises, they need to go check it out. Yeah, but well, you know stopped. what? I think this information is false. And why did then Einstein let him sit on out. it for three months? How do you know it's false, Phil? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you, it. Phil, Phil, Phil don't, don't, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to find out that it's there's false? There's nothing to find out. Let them then find let them out. Find you don't know that there's nothing to find out. To begin with, there's no such thing as a nuclear option. It's just your opinion. And that's your opinion. I got an opinion. You got. We don't have an opinion. I'm saying, I'm opinion. Saying, on Monday, find we'll out. find out the truth. Monday, Let she's not testifying, out. Phil. Haven't you no, watched the news? Po- postponed it. Uh, to when? I, I later think next. Right. Later yeah. next week. Yeah. yeah. All right. So in this time period, is the FBI going to do any investigation? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. With Anita oh, Hill, are, are they going to are they going to interview? Are With they Anita interview? Hill, it only took three days. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
They did an investigation where Anita Hill was concerned. So why can't All they right. do it in this case? Well, obviously, yeah. maybe they are if they've postponed it till Friday. No, she. It the lawyer said. The lawyer said we will show up, but we will show up later in the week, not on Monday, because you say that if you're not here by Monday, we're we're going to dismiss the whole thing. Okay. Because and that's you don't think that they're going to have uh, her witnesses uh, testimony. Matter of fact, her witness said that she, uh, she remembers her saying something about it after the couple's counseling, but nothing was said. Uh, and there and are there people no, that go back to her school days. That's what I'm talking about. The one that goes back to her school days said that she doesn't have any uh, idea what she's talking about. Really? I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that. Either. Phil's that pulling this stuff out of his ass. Sure. Phil's pulling this stuff out of his ass now. He's no, making no, it up. No, no, I, I, I heard it on the on, radio. On stuff. what? Glenn Beck? No, no. Newsmax? I, I, I listen to CBS. Bill, why would this woman put herself through this if she has nothing? Yeah. Why? Think well, about yeah. it. Why does she want to why? talk to the FBI because where she could perjure herself? Hey, uh, you know, she wants to stop. Why this, does she uh, want it? Why does she want to uh, uh, have the FBI investigate in which she will be put in a position that if she's lying, she's perjuring herself? Right. She, why well, would uh, she do why that? Why is she demanding well, that's that? That's because yeah. her she recollection. You don't hear. You don't like hear Brett she, Kavanaugh like demanding Warren an FBI said. investigation into this to clear him. In, in her recollection, she's she can't say for sure that it was uh, this Brett. Uh, uh, Yes, she can. And yes, that's no. not at a partisan point of view, Phil? Yeah, maybe. Partisan and but sexist. Don't you, don't you have a partisan point of view? But I'm not on that committee. Uh, neither am I. But I, you know, I'm voicing my opinion that I don't think that uh, it has to go further than let her voice her thing. Maybe she's going to sway a couple of the... fair hearing. She yeah. wants to have a fair hearing, Phil. Well, Why? Fair. You gotta, Phil, you are a police officer. You cannot yeah. get in to the San Francisco Police Department unless you submit yourself. And this is true for police departments all over the nation. you got to submit yourself to the fucking lie detector test. Oh. And this scumbag will not do it. Hold so on. that isn't in Maybe itself. he doesn't have anything. to do it. By the Maybe way, just, just for a little moment of levity... Forbin Colossus writes on our chat room, Phil's prostate was aborted. That prostate deserved to live. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Yeah, that's not right. That's not nice. Colossus. That's funny. Fuck you. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. 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 But uh, anyway... Uh, yeah, we're, we're never going to agree on this. And let's well, just it isn't a matter it of agreeing, out. Phil. It's a matter of... I, let's let it be fully investigated. This is not, fair. you can't be cavalier in this kind of thing. You can't push something not, through before it has a chance to see the I light of day. I perfectly fair. That no, you're not. You're listen, not they wouldn't even, ago. the Republicans wouldn't that, even listen to Merrick Garland. So at least, that was reasonable. at least let's. No, it was not. It was the Biden rule. I think it was not reasonable. There, the Biden rule was not any kind of rule that was binding by anybody. He well, just he said did. it once. He That's all. It. it was a suggestion. And, and you call it they the Biden it. rule. It's the Biden brought it up. But no, what there's no the rule anywhere that, no other, that in their last what year. the lie that Mitch McConnell said that no other uh, candidate for the Supreme Court had ever been confirmed in the final year of a presidency? It's wrong. This guy that just, they, they were well, like, yeah, this guy that's just retired. Anthony Kennedy was confirmed in the final year of Ronald Reagan's term. Yeah, but that was due to a, uh, was that due to a death? Well, no, they're all due oh, to a death or a retirement yeah. or something. It doesn't matter. Oh, that was Scalia, yeah. Scalia died, and uh, okay. But, uh, yeah, so, I, you know, big deal. They'll use whatever they can use to get their way. They're the ones in power. When you guys are in power, you'll pull your own shit. I'll tell you what's going to happen when we're in power. There's going to be an investigation into Kavanaugh. I don't think they can. Once he's you want to bet? They that's can. it. Yes, they can. Bet? Uh, Supreme yeah. Court justice can be impeached. Yeah. Well, that's then true. let him. Then let him have the investigation. But right now, he's allowed to be appointed, and uh, you know this woman is allowed to voice her opinion uh, as to what she uh, feels happened on that night, and Kavanaugh can, is denying it. You know so, something? You're, you're so partisan. A week ago, or ten days ago, we were on this program. And I said that I thought this was horrible. This woman didn't come out. She didn't say her name. She didn't speak out. She just made an allegation anonymously. And I said, you know what? I don't like this that guy, Kavanaugh, but that's wrong. It is. Now, 
she's out. See, yeah, but I agreed. I don't want this guy Kavanaugh in there. But see, you, now that we've got this thing and we can give this woman a chance, we could do a little corroboration of her story by a little investigation to really get down to the truth. And you're against that because of the partisanship. I'm not, I'm not against it. I don't want the Can't delay. You no, well, you, you, yeah, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Phil, Phil, when proof. you don't, you say you don't want they, a delay. Why don't you want a delay? Does it make I sense? Want I want Kavanaugh approved. Even if he's a scumbag. Well, even, yeah, if he no, did but, even if he's a scumbag. Yeah. How wow. is that going to Even not if he's a scumbag, it, Phil? Phil? Even hmm? if, 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 he, if he did what he's accused if he, of. If him. he's a scumbag, then let the investigation happen after the approval and let the. <laughs> no, 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 Phil. Phil. Come on. What know, dream? I, what understand him. I understand how he feels because he voted for a scumbag who became president. It's yeah. you know it's yeah, not like, like it's not like he's trying to get approved to be a congressman. Or he's and trying the, to prove, and the approve, be approved to be to be the head of uh, of the, of the F FDA of or something Kavanaugh's like that. Opinions about presidential power. Right. Well, hey, he wasn't even on that list. But you got to remember, when Trump isn't president anymore, there'll be someone else who, of the opposite party that may they be president. still have to live with the next forty years, though, Phil. I, I hope so. Hey, uh, you, you know, the other, the other thing about Kavanaugh is the outright hypocrisy. This guy worked with Kenneth Starr and dug up all kinds of dirt and shit on Clinton uh, during Clinton's in, you, impeachment. John, did so, you hear Kenneth Starr's interview where he said that he wished he didn't bring up the Lewinsky thing? No, I, I didn't. Well, but, uh, he could have, he could have, should have, but he didn't. He did, who, and that's he history, he, and that's he, now he history. It. Yeah. Right, he re he regrets it. Well, he may regret it, but, but he, he that, that doesn't doesn't change history. No, you know? but uh, you know, I was just saying that he's been interviewed lately, and uh, you know, I thought he was a uh, you and know star believes, was a good guy. And he believes there should be an FBI investigation. I didn't Peter know. Hill got it. He believes that there should be an investigation. He thinks that they're the being only, they're being rushed. This is all about just jamming What's the rush for, in Phil? There. What's the rush well, for? Well, the problem the problem is is uh, you got all these FBI agents like Strzok and uh, oh, Comey That's and all an these FBI guys. Agent. They're not they, working for the they're FBI. Anymore. They're not working for the FBI anymore. They're, they're Phil. clearing the swamp. They're getting sure rid of these are. guys. Yeah. Uh, and this is nothing more than Trump derangement syndrome. There's nothing wrong with Kavanaugh. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, he's a brilliant. FDS didn't that and used to be seventeen uh, Democrats wait a minute, wait a minute, that Trump talks about are all F Republicans. FDS, Phil. right, Phil? FDS is that your term? Don't you remember that that was the name of a feminine, hy no. the, uh, <laughs> the feminine hygiene deodorant spray? T FDS, T D S, Trump derangement syndrome. Oh, T D S. Okay. Yeah. And, and 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 like this show, very tedious. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to believe that you really feel that way. Just jam a guy in there without really understanding what his background I, is. I, I don't think that he should be. Con it, uh, well, why is there a rush, Phil? Why is there a rush? Or an why is rush? there a rush? Why, why the rush? rush? Because it, the why the Congress, rush? Because he's not going to be able to get approved by a, a, a Republican majority. And if you end up having uh, a lame duck uh, Senate. Uh, approving him. You know what I would uh, do if I was him. You're not going to get. You're not going to get enough. You votes know what I would do if I was him. I would go uh, before the committee, and say this thing she's accusing me of may well have happened. I was drinking a lot in col in high school, and uh, I don't remember the incident. But if she says it occurred, I would agree that maybe there was a chance that it did. But I was a kid. I, you know, I made foolish, I made a lot of foolish decisions as a kid. Now He's I've grown up as an that. adult and now no I'm way. a responsible adult. Yeah. Uh, I, I, well, uh, that's the way you preempt, that you, it, it's no, called preemptive. Never uh, happened. He said it never happened. Right, like the Trump book, the Trump playbook. Deny, deny, deny. Yeah. Everything uh, is hey, denial. That was Clinton, uh, uh, deny, stall. Do you know, do you want to know something? De uh, Trump, for instance, when you talk about denials, has denied that the voice on the tape oh, yeah. <laughs> in the on the uh, Access Hollywood bus. bus wasn't his. Uh, okay. Yeah. You believe that? It was Kavanaugh's. You believe that? <laughs> Bill, do you believe that? Do you believe it wasn't? Yeah, him? I, it was Kavanaugh. No, no, no. Seriously, do you believe seriously. that it wasn't him? No, I believe it was him. Oh, okay, good. I just was wondering but if he's maybe denied we, it, Bill. 
Maybe we well, need to send okay. the medics to your house. He's denied it. Well, so? You know, I mean, he's still sticking by the fact that himself. 65 people died in Puerto Rico. And, and you know, and the whole problem uh, could be solved by some paper towels. I think most of them are, are uh, you know, how many died in, uh, uh, in, uh, for Florence in uh, South Carolina? About, uh, was it 60 or 30? Uh, no, many people? It's a lot. Yeah, many people? 40, 40 wow. so far. Right? I think it's higher than that. I think it's up in the well, 60s. This morning it was 40. But that was a Category 1 storm. Maria yeah, was a Category 5. It's 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 not just... Uh -oh. oh, we oh, shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Verizon. Well, Crazy. he finally had that stroke we've been worrying about. <laughs> Thank you, Verizon. <laughs> Phil, you got uh, frozen there. Yeah, fr Phil, are you there? I think he's disconnected, quite frankly. <laughs> I just love him. He's frozen that way. Let me remember you that way, Phil. He's frozen. Wait a minute. I've got to look on YouTube, see what they're showing. Well, let's all assume the position. Oh, yeah. He's frozen on no, YouTube, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he froze well, that was that was fun. We, we lost him. Jeez. Well, now we, now we can just gang up on him. You know? Uh, we can do a little that gang up on him if we want to. Um, well, you know the saddest thing about our friend Phil, is that he does not see the hypocrisy right. in what the Republicans are doing right now versus what the Republicans did when they were not in the majority. He doesn't see the hypocrisy at all. He yeah. thinks that's perfectly fine. Yeah. It's partisan politics. It's what politics has become in this country. Well, uh, you know, the thing is that my feeling is, and I try to tell Phil, but he, he won't listen. He just yells over what we're saying, is that why do we have to rush this? You know, right. it lets it, you know you want to cross the T's and dot the I's because this is maybe the most important. OK, these people are going to give to anybody in the time they've been in office. It's the biggest they need to strike while the iron is hot. Yeah, they, not, they, they, they want to ram it down. They're worried about losing it. They want to yeah, ram it down right. our throats. Yeah, yeah, they feel that even two or three days would minimize right. the chances of Kavanaugh or something else may come out. Something yeah. else may be That's said right. that could. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's a good point you raised, because if this guy behaved that way, you can bet your ass he did it again somewhere. And, so why uh, come no one has come out? Why has no one else come forward? Ah, uh, they threatened well, me. You know, she's uh, already well, gotten death threats. Well, look, you know? yeah, you, no. you, anybody yeah. else who might be out there that this has happened to at the hands of Brett Kavanaugh, if in fact it did happen to somebody else, is looking yeah. at what's happening to, to Professor Ford and, uh, you know, that would scare they, them they, away. They don't want to mess up yeah, their but lives. There's, but there's strength in numbers. There's strength in numbers, but I think, that not, it, again. Not in Trump's case. Not in Trump's case. There have been 19 women who have accused him of sexual assault. But how has it affected Where's those the women? Where's the strength in numbers there? But, yeah. I mean, how, but how has it affected them, those, those 19 women who have, they came forward? They have lives, and they're probably... Who, who's thinking about them today? I'm, I think it, Alex was making a point that they're seeing what's happening to Miss Ford, and they don't want to come forward because they don't want their life to be topsy turvy, you know, all thrown up. Yeah, so, I mean, they don't want to see their lives thrown asunder. Uh, and most, you know, I think it's very brave of Professor Ford to come forward. She, initially, she didn't want to. No. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and I don't know who convinced her—the shrink, or did she just decide that it would be a great thing, an important thing for her to say well, this? It, and, her name got leaked somehow, so that people knew who she was. Yeah, from from yeah. Anna That's when she office. decided. Mm -hmm. That's when she decided that she might as well come forward. Yeah, she she went to Anna Eshoo's office and and made the assertion, and someone in that office did the leaking. Wow. Well, it's it, terrible. It's, it yeah. is terrible that they did that to her, but I'm glad it, that she came forward. But I think her demands now that that she have a proper setting in which to tell her story and that it not be a hostile yeah. situation, because you, all you have to do is go back and look at the video of uh, Nita Hill and, and just the grilling they gave her. And by the way, one of the people jumping on her was Joe Biden. So we got to make Biden one of the bad guys in that mm -hmm. case. But he has since said that's one of the worst things I ever did in my career. And uh, so was Orrin Hatch. Orrin yeah. Hatch was yeah. on there and one other. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember the other person. And he, they're still there. Do you realize that was in 
When was it? 1991. 1991. Did Grassley's been on that committee since 1991? Yeah, it's just old fucking douchebags. And Orrin Hatch should... has been on there since then? Yeah. You yeah. know, the, yeah. uh, the other day I was talking with my wife. I don't know if you, my ex-wife, Ronnie. And she said, how do you feel? Do you feel there should be a cutoff age for people to be president or to be in politics? Yeah. A and I said, yes. And she says, then yeah. you're ageist. And I said, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm 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 uh, uh, 78 going on 79 and I realize the minimal you know the 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 abilities that I have to the abilities I had 20 years ago and the strength that I have and so on uh, and to be a president you know takes a lot of uh, a lot of energy takes a lot of energy and uh, uh, if you're going to do it completely you know you've got to you know, you you know. So we were we were arguing back and forth about this. I just, what do you think, Jeff? I mean, you're closer to my age. Do you, do you really think that uh, we should give the as, as, Grassley should still be a senator? At, at and you can see him on that panel just doddering around. You know. Well, there's different there's different kind of jobs. The being president, it's a demanding job, whether you're Trump or not. It, it should be a demanding job, and uh, and I, I think that let's say it, at his age, he doesn't have he's a little too old for that job. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just just look at forget about how much you like Obama. He was a young guy at that time as president. And so was and, so was Clinton, by the way. Yeah. And Bush, so was, Bush was um, also Bush wasn't an old fogey either, you know. I mean, this this guy is the, the oldest. First Roosevelt, how this, old was he? He was, I think, in his Roosevelt daddy. died in his. He, he died, I think, at 62, 63. Yeah. Yes. Was that young? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He looked terrible. And he, had been, and he had been all over the world, you know. He had done all kinds of crazy things, and mm. and he also, I. Think, he had a bad heart, and in those days, they didn't do things like you know, uh, uh, you know, Guardia. zipper jobs and things like that. They just didn't have that kind of surgery back in those days. I think uh, Roosevelt probably would have lived a lot longer had he had the medicine we have today. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, Phil. I always remember. What happened to you? Let me just say what. Well, oh yeah. Oh, finish. Let, let me just finish this. When I was a young guy. And I, I mean, like um, maybe uh, eight years old or six years old or something like that. Yeah. I remember my doctor died. My doctor was 42 years old. Right. And he died. And you know what? Most of them died at those ages. A lot of people. For no reason other than that was, that was the technology that, that people had. Yeah. Didn't they have open heart surgery at that time? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Roosevelt would have lived a lot longer. Sure. A lot longer. Uh, had Just he, think, yeah. I'm here for technology that that exists today. Yeah. And quite frankly, has existed for the last 40 years for me. Yeah. And I'm very lucky about yeah. that. And we're very lucky that it has worked for you because we know you and you're a friend on this program, you know? Uh, yes, well, Phil. God must punish because, uh, as we were arguing, the uh, the fuse blew, uh, the, the circuit breaker blew. She had every appliance, every air conditioner, everything plugged into everything, and uh, it, it blew. And then, uh, uh, well, but it wasn't the it wasn't the area. It was just in this apartment. Yeah, well, of course. Uh, but so it was the hand of God, Phil. It, the hand of God came down. Well, because well, I was trying right. to protect some Catholic boy. <laughs> well, you always, Moses uh, is after you on that yeah. one. The one that will always yeah. blow the fuse is the microwave. Yeah, and that's what it was. Yeah, you, uh, you can turn your uh, coffee maker on, things like that, blah, 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 no problem. Uh, when it comes to the microwave, goodbye. See you later. Yeah. You know, so. Well, I, that's, why know, that's, that's why most jurisdictions require a microwave oven to have its own circuit breaker. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, really? This, this building was built probably in the 70s or the 80s, 
and I am not 100% sure how well it's wired. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's a luxury well, this, building. This, but... build, this building is wired terribly, you know. Yeah. I had the air conditioner in the other room on the same time I had this one on, and I don't know what else went on. I think I just had one other thing turned on, like computer in the in the second room, and all of a sudden the lights went out. This was after my show was over with. The lights just I, went out, and, and have, luckily, luckily the fuse at the fuse box, the switch went. It wasn't down in the basement, which is usually the problem. Yeah, I have I have a big GPS uh, that uh, UPS computer, UPS kept the computer on the screen everything was on except the internet and uh right so so you better plug I, that into there too yeah yeah well, unbelievable so hey w one one thing i gotta say about all this and i've been watching this for decades and i gotta admire the republicans for this they know how to fight the democrats do not know how to fight they take punch after punch after punch they don't know how to play hardball. They Too don't ethical. even know the concept. It, you're Too right. Ethical. You're right. And, and, I don't and, think and, it's and a this is not this, this isn't a, it's a this isn't a political yeah. judgment that I'm making. But you're right because there's a men mentality that Democrats have about themselves, and an image that they have of themselves as being just and right and and right. honest and fair and so on. But it's bullshit. It may. Well, it, it, it may be bullshit, but it's the reason you guys can beat up on us because you don't have any scruples that way. Uh, <laughs> our guys are just as weak and, and just as unorganized as you guys. The only thing is, is we got a leader right now and you don't. You know? That's a leader? Yeah. Well, it's more. He seems to rally the troops more than uh, no, Obama. No, he does, doesn't. He, he allows himself to go into areas where he knows he's going to draw a crowd that's going to cheer him, although they say lately the crowds are getting a little dismayed by him. They're uh, not as... I don't as know. Where do you hear that? They're not... A, a, a lot of the uh, reporters, both Fox and all of them, say that they at some of these uh, things he goes to oh. and where he speaks, they're not as enthusiastic as they have been in the past. They notice a muted difference in well, the, the crowd. the Democratic governor it. of North Carolina seemed to like him. Think about it. Think about what's going on, right? When he was rallying the troops, he hadn't done anything yet. It was all upside for him. Now he's been in power for over a year. People are not seeing big differences in their lives. Are you kidding me? People are not seeing big differences in their the lives. The economy Bill. is better than it's been People, in a long time. That may be the case. No, where is the, 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 the wage the upper increases? Uh, where it's are the wage the upper 1%. It's even my business. Hey, Where are the, the wage increases? Phil, how, ma how many stocks do you have? I don't have any. Well, the fact is, then you're not your your life isn't any better. No, no, but my right. business depends on my life's on, better. Uh, my my, my listen, I love my Vanguard's gone nuts. You know, my business depends on other people feeling that they have wealth and then they buy as something that doesn't break. Yeah, except you know? wages are not going up now, or with this with this trade well, war with China. It's yeah. going to be the next 20 years prices are going to be. I, well, I, I'm going through that right now. On the 24th, uh, much of the things that are imported from China that I carry, which is mostly uh, pre-finished hardwood and some of this uh, uh, luxury vinyl plank, uh, which is some of the hottest selling stuff in the market right now, is mainly made in China. And uh, it, it's, it's going to go up in price. Uh, but what I'm... Uh, hoping is is that american manufacturers don't raise their prices because the tariffs are allowing uh them to make a little bit more money uh you know it's well, it's like harley raising the prices harley during davidson. a storm harley davidson is moving to china the trade sanctions have hurt this venerable right wing uh like they're moving to europe they're, red, mo they're moving to europe. europe john or john europe. Yeah. john they're okay, moving to europe. europe sorry but but the trade sanctions Either way it don't matter either way they're moving out of the u.s yep yeah yeah, yeah. and well, there was nothing there was yeah. nothing more american than a harley davidson that's oh, right that used that's to right. be the case yeah <laughs> i got one you know yeah you uh, sell that, it now phil yeah you're, you're yeah, maybe it'll be worth public you got no it'll be worth nothing once it's uh well no it'll probably be worth more because the, the american bikes will be worth more than what they're building outside the country they it'll might be, be better yeah, but, they, uh, you know, the uh, the thing is, if you've ever owned a motorcycle, it used to be that Harley Davidson was like the beers. They would only put out a limited number of them and it would keep the price high. And you could sell a used one for as much or more than you could sell a new one because 
people didn't have to wait if they bought a used one. Right. Now, uh, they've built so many, uh, it, it depreciates so much, it, it's near worthless. And that's why I won't sell it, because I'm not going to get anything for it, so I might as well keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, so far as the economy is concerned, uh, you know, the stock market to me is not an indicator of a good or bad economy. It's an indicator that a bunch of people are making money who invest in stocks, and that's only a minor amount of Americans uh, who do that. I look at the amount of people that come through my door and uh, Will you let me finish with what I was saying, Phil? We heard you say that already. Oh, Uh, I heard you say the thing about stocks. No. Uh, No, I said that a few nights ago. I didn't say it just now. Uh, Okay, it was good enough. But the fact is that you can't say the economy is great because of the stock market going up. That's the world's biggest gambling game, okay? Uh, However... Um, you know, unemployment. Yeah, it's uh, we but it's not as lo- it's about as low as it was under Obama. It's gig jobs too. It's shit jobs. Yeah. Oh, it's shovel ready jobs. And if they would build the wall, we'd have more shovel ready jobs. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. Uh, or if well, maybe Mexico, or, or, or I, I have or, or if we hear any so more if, talk if, about if, bullshit, if we hear you know, any more that's bullshit, such bullshit because the wall minute, exists wait a minute, wait a minute. over eighty percent of the border already. If we hear any more of uh, of Trump's bullshit, that will be a shovel ready job. <laughs> well, uh, meanwhile, he's going to appoint. Two, not one, but two uh, appointees to the Supreme Court. He's appointed a dozen uh, judges in the appellate court. He's appoint, uh, he has uh, gotten uh, the largest tax breaks for people and business uh, in, 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 since Reagan. Uh, he Why has, don't you ask uh, an average American whether they're seeing that in their paycheck? Well, they saw two thousand dollars more. No, they didn't. Uh, no, they haven't. No, they person, haven't. Maybe eight hundred bucks. Well, that's better than paying more because the Democrats want to raise your taxes. Oh, that's the old yeah. line. Yeah, They want to raise hey, hey, that's your taxes. So, Hallelujah. Yeah, but they'd oh, like yeah, to. Hey. They'd like to improve your schools and they'd like to keep the national parks yeah. and they'd like hey, to not. Do you uh, think, do you think throwing more? Debt? In other words, if if you're going to pay a little, I don't mind paying more for my taxes if I get something for it. But when I don't get anything for it, fuck them. Look, do you think that throwing more money at schools is going to get better grades? We've been throwing more money at public schools for uh, 60 years, and we have the worst. Hey, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, we we were funded very nicely, and I had a great education. From yeah, well, schools. that isn't the case anymore. When you were growing up, Benjamin Franklin was still in, in charge of the school system. He never was in charge of the school system. Yeah, he was, uh, he was the one that uh, uh, did the libraries and public schools. Did he do public schools? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah he, he, should he, I believe uh, that, folks, or should education. I go to Wikipedia to find out to Benjamin Wikipedia. Franklin? Uh, yeah, Benjamin Franklin. Okay, Benjamin Somebody Franklin, look. public schools. Okay, here right. we go. He also did the Coast Guard, uh, he, and uh, I think he did the uh, post office. Ben Franklin. And what were we talking about, Ben Franklin? I said that uh, Ben Franklin. Public schools. Uh, public, schools. Uh, public schools. Okay. I thought it was Betsy DeVos. Yeah, I, <laughs> it could have been. No, uh, she's just carrying the torch now. It was Betsy DeRoss. Betsy uh, DeRoss. That's what she, sewed, she sewed the flag. Well, it, it just says Franklin Public Schools. Uh, uh, ben Franklin Public Schools. I, Ben Franklin. Uh, 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 well, there's a Bren, set, Ben Franklin High School. Uh, no, uh, is it all about Benjamin Franklin High Schools? So there's no, nothing. Okay, there's. You got to ask it differently, and I'm trying to think of how you'd ask it to, uh, you know, uh, who, uh, who. Was Ben Franklin responsible for public schools in this country? The creation of yeah. Oops. A public school system. I know, and he also did the libraries, the Coast Guard, post office. I don't think there was a Coast Guard back then. Yeah, in 1776, uh, the Coast Guard. There started. was a Coast Guard? Yeah. Hmm. If uh, you look at their I, medallion. I can't, I can't find so anything. Seven, doesn't I, I, I can't find it. All I find is Benjamin oh. Franklin High School. Well, then it must be true. Here, 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 here comes Jack. All right. Jack? Yes, that's me. Yeah. 
Back here with you. You know, I, I love the fact that Phil gives you just enough information to spread ignorance. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what do you think? I'm a Democrat? <laughs> no, I think you're a fascist, but we'll talk about religion later. <laughs> okay. But look. Your Reagan tax break. Now, don't forget, my wife is an accountant. She worked for the IRS during the 80s under Reagan, and the Reagan tax cut was the biggest boondoggle as far as the average American was concerned. It raised our taxes. And if you want to talk about real growth, not bullshit growth, like with the stock market, as Alex pointed out, you got to go back to when we had 75, 80, 90 percent tax rate so that guys like you had to invest in your businesses. Well, yeah, then you had am all I these right? loopholes now, and you didn't have I to pay right? any taxes. Now, first of hey, all, am you I want right? to listen am to I a right? fascist? Well, no, I'm, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you some fascism. All right. And I'm going to give you some communism. Back. Every 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 hey, every one of well, right now. Right now, I'm playing just absolutely praying for a clogged uh, artery yeah, here. Artery. Uh, hey, yeah, we're we're, we're going to have a mass str a series of strokes on this show. <laughs> hey, 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 Jack, every tax bracket. Don't talk over me for a second. Every you talk tax over me. Come on, I know you got it in you. I know you're capable of doing it. Quit sitting there like some kind of pious saint. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every tax bracket has been lowered under Trump. Every single one of them. Does not matter. Does it pay? Hey, that's, does it, that's how does you lower it, taxes. Any, does it put any more money into the yeah, pay Because you're paying the, less tax. And we're it doesn't put money in the in the Democrats' coffers because most of them are on the public dole. Hey, all right, all right, all right. You say that? You say that? Prove it. Show me the numbers. Show are you on Social Security? Yes. All right. But also, Alex, I, you're on Social Security. So, but also, yeah. I, you're on Social Security. It has right. nothing to do with the budget. Social it has goal. nothing to do with the budget, Phil. Hey, if I'm going to be called a fascist, I'm going to wait be a minute. Fascist. Social Security has nothing to do with the budget, Phil. I know. I, I'm giving you a hard time. Social Security is an insurance plan. I paid into it for my mother to get her social security. It is. It, it, it is as my ex-wife calls it, and it's the proper way of calling it. Earned benefits. Right. God bless FDR and to, Lyndon Johnson for Medicare. Yep. I'm about to meet the maximum right now, and I got the rest of the year I don't have to pay FICA anymore. And you know what? That's ridiculous. I don't want to pay more taxes, but we should be funding Social Security, and everybody should pay every paycheck. Remove the, the cap. Yeah, well, right. the cap. Get rid of the, the get rid of the underground economy. That we we've got coming over here that which works and which, doesn't which, pay taxes. Which underground economy are you talking about? What, what about the? I'm talking about people that work and and work for cash and don't pay their taxes. Who pays that cash? Who pays that cash? It's paid it's by people says. that don't want to pay workers' comp and don't want to do the right thing. So rather than letting That's right. go so you, so, so really, they all vote Democratic. Really, what you're yes, doing, do. what you're, what <laughs> no, you're doing, what you're doing is you're, is you're, uh, you're, you're uh, blaming the sick person rather than the plague itself. No, I'm not. How am I blaming the sick person? Because the because comes because over the, the guy and, comes over. The and, guy and comes camps, over. He simply camps, wants to earn a living. Does, Somebody does, wants to does, pay him off the book so he doesn't have to pay taxes to the government. Uh, who and, made that whole thing also, possible? It's not the guy who wants the job. It's the guy who's giving the job and making it available to him. The guy who's get, who wants the job has an obligation to pay his No, he tax. doesn't. No, he doesn't. So the guy who pays him, except for the workers' comp scam, uh, the guy who pays that it's guy who's standing in front of Home Depot, that Home Depot it's guy is scam. not paying his taxes. I wasn't aware that workmen's comp I, you know, is a if scam. You, no, it's it's if the guy is not paying his work. I, I don't know what this ha even has to system. do with Social Security or whatever. All of a sudden, you pulled this out of your ass. It's a diverting right, all tactic. Was, all you all you guys are on the government dole. Well, that, Phil, no, oh, we fuck you, Phil. To I, I to begin back. with, we Phil. Phil, I want to just inform that. you that uh, the money that I paid into Social Security all these years, I will never never see. In back in full because I always paid the max every year. Okay. okay. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish, grand. Phil. Let me finish. 
No, it yeah. wasn't seven grand. It's nine, nine, uh, two, I think, 9,200. Now. Something now. like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, well, I paid it all these years, so I paid into that. And so far as Medicare is concerned, I pay $110 a month to Medicare out of my Social Security to pay for Medicare. So fuck Subsidized you, Phil. I'm not, on the, I'm not on the public dole. I'm not on the public dole. I'm not on the public dole bullshit. It's subsidized medical care, it's subsidized by the public. Subsidized military program. Yeah, that's yeah. right. What about the subsidized What about the subsidized government. police department or the subsidized the government fire department? Supposed, the government is supposed to supply the military. That's what they're there for. That's well, why our taxes are being wait a, paid. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait All this other God, stuff is bullshit. The goddamn minute, we agreed upon this stuff because the people that pass those legislation measures are people that we sent to Washington to bring home the pork for us and don't Phil, sit Phil, there. do we need, and, and, and listen, you're, Phil, you're, Phil, Phil listen to me. Phil, Phil, listen to me. Do you need to pay, and is it worth for our mutual protection? 51 cents out of every dollar you pay in taxes to go to the military? Yeah. I mean, right. when that every when no other com country goes higher than 10% of income? That, that has been made fat by the Democrats over the last 50, oh, 60 bullshit. years. And what they've been doing hey, is they, hey, they wanted hey. bases in their backyard. They wanted all of these hey, things. Hey, Republicans didn't want the same damn thing. I oh, tell you, hey, hey, who, my, who my, is in hey, charge? Who was in charge of the Congress for 50 years? Got got nothing to do with it today, brother. We're talking 50 about years. Well, they set the precedent. Look, 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 Phil. Well, then, you, then why isn't then why isn't Trump lowering the amount of money that the military is getting rather than raising it? Because blah 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 blah. Mission. Here we he come. Here comes mission. the bullshit. We got guys with nuclear arms. Nuclear and, and they have nuclear. Yeah, for, North Korea. Yeah. And if and if Trump had a set of balls on him, he'd say, "I don't need a military. I'm oh. your ass person." Al Alex is standing on his ball. Hey, look, look, pal. I have I some, and I use that term advisedly. Yeah. Look, we spend more on our military than the next ten nations combined. Who the hell are we afraid of? And that includes Russia, by the way. We, we're yeah, afraid of everybody right. who wants our shit. Why, what? why, why, what is, why are these for? other countries, what the Canadians, we, for instance? Yeah, what do we have that they really want? You tell me one well, damn they got. We got natural resources. We have freedom. We have the right to, to speak our mind. What kind of freedom? They don't want that. They want to. You have freedom, we, Phil. We have you the have, right to speak you have freedom our mind unless Google or Facebook or Twitter says no. Yeah, run by Dems. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and, and Wall Street is controlled. I've heard a long time, Bill. And Wall Street is controlled by you Republicans, is it not? No, it's controlled by the Jews. Haven't you heard that? Well, not the Jews that I know, because most of you guys are broke like I am. <laughs> I understand. No, I, I never I knew a lot. I, and most a lot of Jews I knew never had anything to do with this, being in the stock business. You know, that's a very that's a very uh, yeah. white bread yeah. uh, Christian group of guys down hey, there. Hey, just look at the Dulles brothers. They're the ones that set all this up, and they're Ro Roman Catholics again. So we get back to the toxic Roman Catholic boy syndrome. Yeah. But, Phil, in all honesty, yeah. name me one thing over the last 40 years that the Republican Party has done for the average working American. One yeah. thing. Well, one the thing. one thing I like is they eliminated the draft in 1972. Uh, and which, then, uh, hmm? which was a mistake because it led to using our military for every little bullshit adventure we could come up with. That's right. Well, these are exactly people that right. want to be there. And uh, no, what no, you're, no, they're what you're doing is this is it, it, the military actually yeah. uses and takes advantage of poor people who want to get out of those positions and using them for cannon fodder. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's yep. it's, a, it's it's another form of welfare. It's government welfare. Yeah, it's right. I don't know they're what not, else to do with my they're, life. They're, I got out of high school. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I don't hey, know what to do. I'm going to go into the military because I have no direction. And when they come out, they unless they're criminals, they come out as upstanding citizens who have oh, been oh, given. Uh, oh, really? That's, that's yeah. How come all these guys that go into uh, post offices and uh, office buildings and start shooting the place up all happen to be in the military and learned how to use those rifles? 
not all of them. There's something like 18 suicides a day among veterans, so that's going to tell you something. And that's a shame. That's a shame. That's because our government government didn't do what it was necessary to support our military. Well, when when Democrats advance uh, plans to uh, improve veteran services, it was always the fucking Republicans that vetoed those. At least two two of them them a day commit suicide listening to Phil's drivel. (laughs) <laughs> we'll see about that. We're seeing how he treats how he treats uh, even even vets who are dead, like like the whole controversy with the when he was uh, when he was a candidate. He's the a, way he talked about the, the the family of the Gold Star family. Yeah. How about and what he said yeah. about McCain? And and, and, yeah. really and also and up. also let's let's add this one. Let's add this one, Phil, Muslims? about Trump. He's a fucking coward. He wouldn't yeah. serve in the military. Hell, he I served in the military. Spur? Did he have a bone he's, spur? He, he had a bone he's, spur. He's oh, the, uh, leader of the military now. You yeah. know that that, that, that it, 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 Phil, don't he, don't change serving, the subject. He was a fucking coward. He didn't serve when he should yeah. have because he, I think, was in the middle of the like Vietnam a, like War. Like another famous Republican dirtbag, a wall, uh, you know, silver spoon piece of shit. Uh, w. No, what? George W. Bush. You know, little piece of lying shit. Hey, hey, I, I didn't serve either. All, all right, then shut. Then the shut up. the fuck up. Well, I put in 20 years as a cop. No, I uh, shut the fuck up. You, you, you are a rent-a-cop. You were not a real a cop. cop. You were not a real free. cop. I mean, no, just, you were a hobby no, look, cop. Wait a minute. you got to respect Phil for his service. No, I don't. Because, well, he, was he, a, doesn't respect because he was a fucking cop. You know. Uh, hey, oh, Phil, it, you know, Alex good enough to almost arrest him. <laughs> John. Alex is <laughs> a long time. And even I had to admit, they took me kicking and screaming to the recruiting office because I ran out of college deferments when I got out of school. Yeah. So I wound up doing military time, despite my best efforts. And as far as you think that these kids that are going into this all-volunteer army are going there because they don't have any better options... They're going there because they ain't got no options at all. Every kid that I know that has served, with the exception of one, over the last yep. 20 years, said, I got to do this because there's no jobs out here. Then you got to start hanging out with a better class of people because there's a lot of people that join the military because they believe in it as a career. Hey, let me tell you a little story. One of my tile clients is a psychologist, and she got a call from the Army a few years ago saying, you know, could you come out to the uh, Honolulu where our treatment hospital is for post-traumatic stress? And because the Army couldn't handle the load coming in from Iraq and Afghanistan. And uh, she sat down, and we had a cup of coffee during my lunch uh, break on her house when I was working. And she said, John, I can't, of course, I can't tell you what I heard, but I'll tell you what I did. After a session, I'd walk around the grounds with the palm trees just shedding buckets of tears. And I think that has got to say something. You know, what did, and what caused, what did she say, what caused her to have that emotion? Oh, yeah, listening to how these guys, what these guys went through and what they had to do. And, and the effect it had on them. And, that was a uh, sacrifice. Well, you know, a stupid one. You know, for for foolish wars that were li- we were lied into. Yeah, I mean, like it, it, uh, this whole idea yeah. that they were sacrificing is is put is gilding the lily and trying to make the t- real truth uh, uh, not be heard. And that is the fact that these people were thrown into harm's way. Well, okay. Yeah. Have unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. Vietnam. Twenty twenty hindsight was a perfect example. Vietnam is a perfect example of putting these people in harm's way. Oops! I just lost everybody's picture here. Let me get back here and get everybody. Whoops! That I got a problem there too. What is this? Views go out. Uh, what? No, I. I. I uh, uh, don't worry. We'll. We'll. We'll be okay, folks. Hey, I, I almost yeah, blew a fuse. Well, I did blow a huh? fuse. <laughs> I blew a fuse when we were talking. No, there we go. There <laughs> we go. I got everything right now. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, hey, listen, that's it for tonight. We got to go. We got to do some. Oh, we got to do a uh, uh, Jack show. I've seen all you guys and you too, Vern. Jack's got, <laughs> got a show right after us uh, called The Intersection. I want all of you to, uh, like, do a good wave goodbye to everybody. A very great wave goodbye. Goodbye to Phil. Goodbye to... Uh, 
Mr. Perulas, goodbye to uh, Rob, goodbye, oh, Vernon, we love having you here. And same thing with you, Jeff, uh, all of you. Thanks for being here. Bye. That's our citizens panel for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, let me just hang up on him here, rudely so, uh, so we can get the phone lines available for the next program, which is the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop, who you just heard a few minutes ago. And then that will be followed by Connections at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Tomorrow night, 9.30, Damian Chaplin in the exchange. And then we'll be right back here at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time with another edition of The Ramble. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, mm, yeah, tell her I love her, okay? All right, okay, all right.